The big story at 630 was supposed to be the next big attraction near downtown Orlando. The fancy food hall known as the Hall on the Yard abruptly closed less than two years after opening. And as Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte explains, this isn't the business owner's first legal issue. I spoke with one of the investors of the Hall on the Yard who helps manage operations here. He says they are working on getting all of their employees paid with this sudden closure. And I was digging into court documents today and we found this is not the first time the owner has done something like this. This place had a ton of potential. It's prime location. I Ivanhoe is kind of the new like downtown. But instead, this permanently closed sign is on the doors of the Hall on the Yard Friday. The food hall in Orlando's Ivanhoe Village opened in 2022. It had nine food stalls and three cocktail bars, known as an upscale hangout spot. Tom Egan used to work here as a bartender. He and dozens of his coworkers now out of a job. Because these are people that live, you know, paycheck to paycheck. The owner of the Hall on the Yard is now being sued by its landlord for breach of lease and is facing eviction. According to the suit, the food hall owes $250,000 in rent. The owner filed for bankruptcy over a year ago due to pandemic-related construction delays. On top of that, this notice was also put on the doors today saying they owe $5,400 in taxes to the county. This is not the first time the owner has opened a food hall that shut down. This is video of the hall on Frank Franklin in Tampa, another food hall that shut its doors for good. In that case, court documents show he also missed rent payments and was evicted. He owed $47,000 at the time the lease ended. According to state records, the owner had five other business licenses with a very similar name. None of them are listed as active anymore. Egan says he knew the business here in Orlando was struggling and he feels terrible for his former co-workers. You left so many people, you know, struggling to pay rent. I did reach out to the owner for comment on this story, but he did not get back to me. Reporting in Orlando, Stephanie Belmonte, Fox 35 News.